Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Dustin Grove. Our top story this midday, the legal push to stop gender violence. Indiana Attorney General Greg Zeller is just back from a gathering with attorneys general from nearly a dozen other Midwestern states where they talked about issues and potential solutions. And Greg Zeller is here to talk about it with us right now. Thanks for being here. Good to be with you. So this was a conference several days long. I read the issues included domestic abuse, sexual assault on college campuses. That's right. Uh, what did you walk away with from this? Well, this problem is a lot bigger than any of us ever wanted to believe. So we're now having to look at the extent of the problem mm -hmm. and look for ways to address it. What has Indiana already done? To address well, these we've uh, we've created a new uh, task force, this Indiana Commission to end sexual assaults. Uh, we had a problem with the old one; it essentially went bankrupt. So recently, we just started up a new one. Uh, we're going to get it fully funded. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be at a conference with all the colleges and universities later this month. So I think we've gotten people's attention. Now we need to come up with more solutions. And so, what were some of the issues that you talked about in this at this conference with these other attorneys general? Well, things like uh, sexual assault on college campuses. Uh, we, we all talk to our daughters when they go off to college, mm -hmm. so there's no girl on campus that doesn't know the risks, mm -hmm. but we haven't really talked to our young men. Hmm. And I think the conversation needs to include kind of the healthy relationships and address the problems that are really caused mm -hmm. by young men. And what might that look like tangibly? Are these sessions? Is this part of the curriculum? What would that look like? Well, the conference we're having are going to be student leaders. So mm -hmm. again, you can only do so much talking to your own children. Yep. But I think peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, we're going to have to have a conversation really between the young men and women are on our college campuses and really throughout our state is just to have a, a conversation about the, the proper relationships. I think there's some real unhealthy attitudes, uh, particularly among young men who uh, really should be uh, focusing on a responsible relationship and not uh, what they see on TV or hear in rap music or something. So where do you go from here? Well, we're going to have to, you know, work with our legislature. Uh, we'll have another um, focus on what we can be doing more as a state. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think the the relationships that we have with our universities, with uh, the the providers of uh, sexual assault. Uh, services. So the, the young women particularly who are damaged mm -hmm. uh, need some treatment, need uh, people that really care for them, try to get them back to health. They're very tough victims to serve. And why is that? Well, any kind of sexual violence really lasts and stays a lot longer than an injury. Mm -hmm. uh, so the mental health uh, problems uh, and really the feeling of vulnerability and having been violated. Mm -hmm. uh, so these are things that are tough to deal with. Uh, we've been focused on victims' rights mm -hmm. uh, for years. They, first of all, they make bad witnesses, so the criminal justice system has a hard time uh, having them come to court yeah. and relive the experience, but then afterwards, mm -hmm. you know, treating uh, young women who've been violated, uh, it's a tough victim to serve. Uh, an important conversation, no doubt, that will continue. Attorney yeah. General Greg Zeller, thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for we having me. I look forward to talking to you soon.